everyone, today I'm here with a box opening of an Ashton Drake Galleries collectible doll. And this doll has kind of been on my wish list for many years. I just never got it. I don't know why, I just never did. Um, but after Ashton Drake started switching to rooting their doll's hair instead of glued on hair, Actually, I think that's probably why I didn't get it years ago. Um, Ashton Drake used to do glued on hair and that just made me not want any of their dolls. This is a really cute baby that I loved, but um, now they make it with rooted hair instead of glued on hair. Let's see who it is. It's Little Grace by, oh, I think her sculptor is Linda Murray. Okay, that's not working, is it? Let's see if I can get these flaps to hold the paper. There we go. So this is Little Grace, sculpted by Linda Murray is her artist. I've always loved the face on this doll. Linda Murray sculpts the cutest faces. And for those of you who collect reborn dolls, you may recognize her sculpting style because even though this doll is not a reborn doll, Linda Murray has sculpted some reborn doll sculpts that are in vinyl. I believe just vinyl. I don't think she's ever done silicone or anything like that, but don't quote me on that. She smells like baby powder. Now I have found that over time, the Ashton Drake dolls lose their baby powder scent. It's like at first it smells so good and then they lose that scent over time, unfortunately. At least that is what I've found with my Ashton Drake Charlie that I have and what's the other one that I had I had may God bless you little grace or baby grace or something like that which is a completely different doll from this one but it, its name is also grace <laughs> there's her little wrist tag came off sorry if you hear a bunch of commotion in the background um, my kids are just kind of playing and my grandma is sitting with them at the moment and talking to them. Let's see if I set this there, will it keep the paper? Maybe. I love to see videos of Ashton Drake dolls before I purchased them to make sure that it's a doll that I really, really want. Ignore that. That's just my son <laughs> playing, screaming for fun. All right, let's get her out of here and then we'll take a closer look at her and get her hair net off. All right, we're gonna take a closer look at this doll. So here are her little fingers. little tipped nails, tipped and glossed. This doll actually doesn't have a ton of detail on her, um, but she is still very, very cute. And this is the most, I think, true to life video I've ever seen of this doll. I've seen quite a few people do box openings in a poor lighting or with a poor quality camera, so you couldn't really see the doll too well. And that's why I wanted to film this little unboxing so that if you're considering getting Little Grace, then you can see what she actually looks like. She's a very cute doll, but she definitely is a lot less lifelike than they show in their photos on Ashton Drake's website, which is the case for so many of their dolls. They Photoshop their photos, so that's why I really like to see... Um, in real life photos and videos before I purchase a doll 
There's her little feet. She does have some blushing. Here's her little torso. So she has um, three quarter limbs, but she has this torso that goes over. It's very squishy. Now what I plan on doing with this doll is I am going to make some modifications to her. I am gonna take her apart. I'm going to put her on a reborn doll body so that she's more floppy and poseable and cuddly. I need to put some more weight into her as well. A lot of people have said that this doll is very heavy and she's not. I would say maybe, maybe two, two and a half pounds would be my guess. I guess it's heavy for a factory made doll, but not for, um, compared to like a reborn doll or something like that. So here's the hair up close. It's not too bad. It looks pretty pluggy if you look really close but it's still much better than their old glued on hair and here's her little back oh look <laughs> so there's her little back her little wrinkles but she's a very very cute doll I do love Linda Murray's sculpting and I do have I think one more of her Ashton Drake dolls on my wish list. I have a little wish list going of Ashton Drake dolls that I want to get. Um, they're just fun to collect, even though they're not as realistic as Reborn dolls. You can always do modifications to them or just leave them as is, and they're still very sweet dolls. So here she is, little Grace. And I think I'll probably keep the name Grace for her, just like I kept my Charlie doll, Charlie. Um, but there she is. If you have any questions about this doll, feel free to leave them in the comments. On further inspection of my little Grace doll, I found that she has this on her ankle. What I think this is, um, is a paint accident from when they were tipping her nails. So that's disappointing. Um, so now I have to decide if I'm going to return this doll or if I'm going to try to take that off with some acetone or something like that. I don't know yet, but it is pretty disappointing to find this because I'm pretty sure that they inspect their dolls before they box them up. Um, and I guess I will keep you all updated on what I decide to do with this doll, but that's just really disappointing.